Welcome to Electro Online. Our second problem on paper 2 in physics for the 2022 JE Advanced Test takes a lot less time to accomplish compared to the first one. So maybe you wanted to skip to the second one right away. This one deals with radioactive decay, so let's read the problem. It says, in a radioactive decay chain reaction, starting with thorium-230 nucleus, decays into a polonium-214 nucleus. The ratio of the number of alpha to the number of beta decay uh, particles in this process is, so you have to know how many alpha decays there will be and how many beta decays there will be. And you can kind of guess, because notice for every alpha decay, you have a decrease of four in the total mass of the nucleus. So the difference between 230 and 214, uh, that would be 16, that would be four alpha decays. But do you know how many beta decays there are? Because in a beta decay, there's no change in the total mass of the nucleus. So you really need to know the decay process, the chain reaction of the decay process. So let's put it down and see if you can memorize this. This always comes in handy. So starting with uranium-238, there's an alpha decay down to thorium, and that thorium is 234. Now they want us to start from thorium-230, so that's not the place to start. Now we have a beta decay to protactini protactinium, that's Pa. There's no change in the nuclear mass. And then there's another beta decay back to uranium, and this uranium is the 234. And then you have an alpha decay to thorium again, and this thorium will now be 230, and that's the one we want to start with, because that's the starting position. Then we go from here to uh, radium, Ra, and that will be an alpha decay that goes to 226, and then we have another alpha decay to radon gas, so that will be 222. Then we have another decay to polonium. Now that polonium will be 218, but that's the wrong polonium because we want polonium 214. And then we have a decay to lead. And this lead will be 214. But you know that's not the end product because the end product of the decay process needs to be lead 206. So that means there is going to be another uh, decay, in this case a beta decay, to bismuth and then another beta decay to polonium again. But now this polonium will be 214, and that polonium is the end result that we want. So at this point, you say, okay, we're done, even though there's, there's more decay process. Uh, but we started from thorium-230, so this is the starting point, and this is the ending point. And notice that we had one, two, three, four alpha decays, and one, two beta decays, so the ratio then would be alpha to beta is four to two, which is equal to two, that ratio, because that's what they want. They want the number of alpha particles to the number of beta particles, the ratio of that, which is two, and that is the result that goes in here. If you want to see the rest of the decay process, then here we have another decay, Oop, let me do that, so we have another alpha decay to lead. Now this is lead 210, which is still not the end product, so then there's another beta decay that gets you back to bismuth, but this bismuth is going to be bismuth uh, 210, which this is bismuth 214, another beta decay to polonium, but this polonium is 210, that's not the one they wanted, so that's too far, and then we go back down to another alpha decay, back to lead, and this is lead 206, which is the end of that nuclear uh, reaction chain. So you have to memorize this chain, realize that this is the one they started with, this is the one they ended with, four alpha decays, two beta decays, four divided by two is two, and that's the end. So you could do this quickly if you remember the decay reaction uh, in less than three minutes. How many minutes did we take? <laughs> four and a half minutes, but I did extra stuff, so definitely doable in three minutes.